Welcome. Today we're speaking with Professor Helen Ward about the abundance of information and misinformation during an outbreak such as COVID-19. The WHO have said that in addition to the pandemic, there is an infodemic. What does this mean? Yes, well, the WHO describe an epidemic as an overabundance of information, some of which is accurate and some of which it's not. And that makes it hard for people to find trustworthy sources and reliable guidance when they need it. So Sylvie Briand, who's director of the Infectious Hazards Management at WHO's emergency programme, has pointed out that actually this isn't a new phenomenon, but it's different. She said... We know that every outbreak will be accompanied by a kind of tsunami of information, but also within this information, you always have misinformation, rumours, etc. We know that even in the Middle Ages, this was a phenomenon, but the difference now with social media is that this phenomenon is amplified. It goes faster and further, like the viruses that travel with people and go faster and further. So I think it's correct that there is a lot of misinformation and rumours about where the virus came from, denials about its seriousness and how the pandemic is evolving and also suggestions of fictitious cures. This is important because a report on the Ebola outbreak in 2014, which was published in the BMJ, showed what happened with social media. They analysed social media messages related to prevention and cure in a one-week time period And they categorised these messages on social media as either correct, medically correct, misinformation or other. And just one week in three countries, they reached a possible 15 million users with misinformation. So over half of those tweets and so on were medical misinformation. And writing about similar misinformation around vaccines, for example, Heidi Larson from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine has described this as being able to lead to emotional contagion and insidious confusion, which really can undermine control efforts. Do you think that community engagement can help here? Well, I think community engagement has a role to play in countering rumours by showing that public health leaders are listening to communities, not ignoring their concerns and finding the best ways of getting accurate, relevant information out. It can help find out who people trust and who they'd like to get advice from and try and channel it through those those people and those groups. Early on in the COVID-19 in Hong Kong, a survey of 1,700 people showed that Doctors were the most trusted source of information, but actually most information was actually obtained from social media. And this shows that there is a lot of work to be done to try and shift that balance towards messages coming from the people that people trust. So how can we avoid the spread of misinformation? How can we do this? I think that one key way is by increasing people's understanding of the science behind the response so that they do trust what is being said. This is being done by sharing research and evidence very openly and I think that's one of the very good things that's happened in this outbreak more than ever before. Many academic papers and reports are published in almost real time and also lay summaries and more accessible forms of that are being made available from the scientists and the researchers. In addition we ourselves have chosen to develop online learning to help raise the science literacy if you like the using teaching as um, using this as a teaching opportunity to improve people's understanding of the different disciplines such as mathematical modeling behavioral science and so on that underpin the epidemic response in fact there's been some amazing videos and animations and other forms of media put out there already to help get the messages across and i think this way we use social media in a positive way and not for spreading misinformation. So I think that's the way forward. Thank you for sharing your insights and taking the time to speak with us. Thank you.